Hello, gem lovers. Do you want to go on a magical journey to discover how some of Earth's most beautiful gems are formed? Today's question comes from a viewer with the perfect name for our topic. How are gems made? Thanks for the question, Ruby. Ruby wants to know how gems are formed. Let's get ready for an adventure that'll rock your socks off. Miss Mac explains, Gems. Hi scientists, today we're going to uncover the dazzling secrets of how gems are formed. It's going to be a real gem of a show. Now, you might think gems can just pop up overnight, but the truth is they take a long time to form. In fact, some take millions of years. Let's start with a little gem of wisdom. Gems are actually minerals that are formed in a special way underground. They're like the VIP of the rock world very important pebbles. So what exactly is a mineral? A mineral is a solid non-living thing that is formed naturally on Earth. Minerals are the building blocks that make up rocks. Minerals can come in many different shapes and colors. To understand where gems are formed, we need to look more closely at our Earth. Underneath our feet is like a cake made of many layers. And as the layers stack on top, they squish the ones beneath it. As we go deeper underground, the earth gets really hot. In this underground heater, minerals get squished and heated. And sometimes they even melt. As this mineral soup cools down or the pressure changes, the minerals start to crystallize slowly, piece by piece. They turn into the beautiful gems we find today. To be scientific, crystals have very orderly patterns that give them their geometric shape. Many things can form crystals, like sugar, salt, snowflakes, and diamonds. Did you know gems start out rough and they need to be cut and polished in order to sparkle? Here's a raw diamond, sapphire, emerald, and ruby. Now here's what they look like after they've been cut and polished. Now they're ready to be used in jewelry. Some gems, like diamonds, are formed super deep underground and need crazy high pressure. Diamonds are formed from one particular atom called carbon. If you remember back to the static electricity video, you learned that atoms are the building blocks that make up everything. They make up you, me, and diamonds. Why did the diamond go to school? To become more brilliant. Other gems, like opals, can form closer to the surface when water seeps into cracks in a rock. And aquamarine and topaz are crystals that formed slowly from that mineral soup as it cooled over time. Each gemstone has its own recipe for formation. Here's a fun fact. Gems can change color when other atoms get mixed in with the minerals. Rubies and sapphires are both made from the same mineral. But when other atoms get mixed in, it changes their color. Rubies are famously red because the chromium element gets added in, while sapphires are famously blue from the titanium and iron that gets mixed in. Sapphires can come in other colors too, like yellow, green, and pink. It's not the color that makes a gemstone what it is. It's the recipe of the minerals that it's made from. So you could say Mother Nature is the ultimate gem chef, cooking up these beautiful stones in her underground kitchen and doesn't she know how to rock a recipe? Did you know the biggest diamond ever found was as big as a bowling ball? That's what I call a lucky strike. What did the emerald say to the diamond? I'm green with envy. So Ruby, that's how your namesake and other gems are formed. From a lot of heat, pressure, and patience from mother nature. So in summary, gemstones get made in many different ways by the earth. Remember kids, it takes a long time and special conditions to form these gems. So the next time you see a beautiful gemstone, think about the incredible journey it took to get from deep underground to dazzling our eyes. That's all for today's show. I hope you found it gemtastic. Thanks so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see you rock stars later. Bye. Hey scientists, are you still here? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.